Hello guys, so today I am going to solve uh, Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. Okay, so today's problem of the day is length of the longest palindrome in linked list. Okay, so the question is pretty much straightforward. We have a uh, given a function maximum palindrome which uh, takes a node. Okay, pointer head. Okay, a head pointer and the return type of the function is in. So we have to return the maximum length of the palindrome in this linked list. Okay. So in the given example of this problem here, number seven represents the total length of the linked list and these elements, okay, represents the elements of the linked list, okay. Now, what will, what will be the length of the longest palindrome? As you can here see, it is five. So we can see that, we can see that two, three, seven, three, two is the length of the longest palindrome in the linked list. And, uh, no other uh, palindrome with such a greater length is possible okay now the next example is 5 12 4 4 3 1 3 14 and you can see the length of the given uh, maximum palindrome is 2 so you can see that 4 4 is the length of the uh, is the part of the link list okay so it is a palindrome therefore the maximum length is 2 now how we can solve this problem see one way that I solved at the very first attempt is I uh, wait, 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 one second. Okay, so as you can see, I uh, took a vector array and uh, pushed uh, all the elements of the link list to a vector. Okay, now what I can do is uh, apply dynamic programming or any other method that runs in order of n squared but n is the length of the linked list and uh, through which we can uh, get the length of the longest palindrome and it is a dynamic pro programming problem okay now the main catch here is what if the interviewer asks you to give a solution in order of one space see as you can clearly see that here i am using order of n square okay uh, okay uh, sorry uh, order of uh, n square space and uh, it is if it is not available if it is uh, not available what we can do now see the other method is to if i uh, so if uh, the link list is given as 237 to 12 let's uh, move to the whiteboard okay now what the other approach is using order of one space we will reverse the link list okay now if we if you know the code of reversing the link list what we do is first we take previous is, is equal to null then current equal to head and next equal to null this three is the main uh, pointers or you can say a variables for reversing the link list okay so first what I will do is I will reverse the two part okay reverse the two part now when I will reverse the two part the link list will be 2 null and the other part of the link list 3 7 3 2 12 24 okay now at the first iteration previous will point to 2 current current will point to 3 and next will point to 7 and here you can see a code okay what this uh, and it is a function okay it takes two node pointers a and b now what we can do is that uh, let one pointer point to two okay and other pointer point to three and we uh, and we uh, pass these two pointers to this function now what this function do is it calculates the maximum count up to when these two node elements are equal as you can see 2 and 3 are not equal so it will return 0 okay it will return 0 in this case now after after the now if we talk about the second iteration let me just pause it okay now if we talk about the second iteration 
the reverse linkage will be three and two. Okay, three and two. Now, in this case, PBS will point to three. PBS will point to three. Current will be equal to seven, and next will be three. Now, the main catch is here. Okay. Now we will pass previous and next, previous and next to this function a and b. So, what is uh, now? Previous and next are equal. So count will be incremented to plus one. So uh, the new value of count will be one. Okay, and then we will shift the pointers to the forward. Now, uh, now a will point to two. Okay, a will uh, point to two, and b will also point to two. Okay, now as a and b are equal, then count will be incremented to two. And after the iteration, as you can see, a will point to null. A will point to null, so this loop breaks. and in this case the return will be 2 now as you can see i have passed previous and next to the function initially so this part and this part are same now and this part is remaining so the length of the uh, okay, okay now the uh, what is the length of the same part the length of the same part is 2 okay and uh, what will be the overall length it will be uh, okay 2 into 2 plus 1 so the total length of this parenthesis will be 2 into 2 plus 1 why plus 1 because 7 is there and if and at the other case is uh, let me rub this okay okay Uh, wait one second. Have patience. Okay. Okay, we are done. Now the other point is if we passed current and next. Okay. Let's suppose the current will be. Uh, let's suppose the current is three. Let let us suppose. Now if we pass current and next, the uh, to A and B, A is current and B is next. As you can see, current and next are equal, so count will be. One second, please. So count will be incremented to one, and and uh, what what to say? And uh, one second, one second. See, okay. Now then a is is equal to a next, and b is is equal to b next. Okay. Now current will point to three. A A will point to three and B will point to two. And A and in this case these are not equal, so it will break and we will have only one. Okay, we will have only one. So what I am trying to say is that if this element was three, okay, if the current element was three. the length of the maximum palindrome is 3 and 3 okay so 3 and 3 overall length is 2 return is 1 so if we passed current and next to this function the maximum length will be 2 into 1 and that is equal to 2 okay so if i summarize this approach what i am doing is i am first converting Uh, I am first reversing the prefix of the linked list one by one, and then I am passing the pointers previous and next to find the length of the palindrome if it is odd, and I am passing the pointers current and next to find if the length of the palindrome is even, and what and the maximum length will be our answer. Okay. so let's if i do the coding part you will more understand so what i will do is no pointer previous is is equal to equal to null pointer next is is equal to equal to null 
and int max c equal to 0 which is the length of the maximum palindrome okay now i will just see why head uh, this is the code of reversing the linkage so if you know the reversing part of the linkage then this problem will be become more clear okay now what will be the initial value of the next now next will point to head next okay head next is is equal to previous now max c is is equal to maximum of max c comma fun of oh okay so as you can see in this whiteboard we previously passed previous and next to this fun function previous and next plus one because it will be the odd length of the odd length uh, odd length uh, palindrome okay and if i passed fun of fun of current and next okay current and next this will be even length palindrome current oh, current is here is head and next okay now we are done and then previous will point to head head will be next and we will return maxi from here maxi and we are just remaining of, of the fun function note pointer a oh sorry note pointer b and in oh sorry in count is, is equal to zero and for not initialization is required a and oh sorry a and b a is, is equal to a next comma b is, is equal to b next and if a beta is, is equal to equal to b beta okay then count plus plus else break then return count okay i hope the code will be just fine to run expected output and my output is same and i will just submit okay there is a wrong answer two three oh sorry sorry we have to multiply by two okay okay so thank you guys and have a nice day